Phil Bedford, The Rebel Networker, and welcome back to this week's show. Uh, and uh, as promised on the previous show, I've got Ramaz Halu back. Ramaz, the cell doctor, welcome back, mate. Hey, welcome. <laughs> Good to have you again here. So Ramiz is a, a sales trainer in the Middle East. Uh, what is unique about him, apart from his amazing way of uh, delivering and selling, which is so soft and just almost conversational, is the fact that he can train in how many languages, Ramiz? Mm, four. Four languages. Arabic. Uh, Arabic is my native tongue. Of course, English, French, my second language, and Spanish, Espanol. Super. So. A lot of opportunity for you to work with a lot of companies. Eh? Yes, yes. Now, in the last week's show, we actually said something that was quite interesting about uh, entrepreneurs who don't tend to have a lot of money, and actually, they actually don't have a lot of time. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of them, once they've realized that actually networking is the way they have to grow their business, they have to do it through people because they can't afford advertising and marketing, they then start to run out of time. Yeah. And I wonder if you had any tips from your experiences about people that are networking to death. I mean, networking, I mean, I'll, I'll just give you a story. Um, when I started the business in 2010, I, I met lots of people. And one time I met a very nice Italian uh, lady consultant. And um, she, she would ask me, you know, how are you doing? How is business? And of course, thanks to what I've learned with you, I had built a really good pipeline and I, I was able to generate and and drive my business to the next levels. And she'd always call me up and I'm always busy. I'm always doing things, serving clients, etc. After about a year of her calling, how is this? And I'm telling her, she's like, man, I gotta tell you, I don't know how you do it. I was like, what do you mean? She goes, I've been going to networking events for the last year. I have more than 1,000 business cards, but I'm not getting any business. I said, you mean to tell me that you've been for about a year or so and, and, and you haven't generated uh, much business from networking? She goes, no, uh, not really. I said, well, you know, let me ask you a question. Tell me what, what do you mean by networking? She goes, I go to an event, I take someone's business card and I go and I would send them an email. I tell them what I do and of course nothing comes back. I said, well, no wonder why you're not getting any business because you know, just think about it. Would you go, would you, if someone, you met someone at an event, would you actually want to do business with them after just one time? I said, you know, it's like, imagine you're trying to cut a tree and you go to a tree, you say, oh, oh, it's a tree. And you have your, your ax and you go, boof, one hit. And you look up and down, it didn't go down. You say, oh, another tree. You go, you go and boof, another tree. Oh, didn't come down. And then you go and find another tree. It's like every time you go meet someone, it's like you're taking one hit at this tree and it's not new coming tree. down. And you go a thousand new trees. Imagine if you would have not done all that stuff and taking time to build relationship with four, five people. And you have done maybe 10, 15, 20 hits where you really get to build confidence on both sides. You um, explain what we call your, your USP. So how, why would somebody want to recommend you? Because sometimes we might not get business directly from someone, but we are with certain individuals that are in touch with our target market, which is something I've learned from you, Phil. Mm. And how, how do I build that trust? How do I build a relationship with those individuals that constantly keep driving referrals my, my way without me even doing any business development? So as a young, uh, young, as a, as a new entrepreneur uh, in, the, in the business, um, time was a, of course, scarce, so is money. And uh, again, highly recommend people learning these, uh, the tips that you, the tips and strategy, it's an entire process that you teach uh, individuals. Mm, I love it. So if you're networking to death, get strategic. I mean, it's, exa it's, like, it's like, you know, do you, do you uh, shoot and aim or do you aim and shoot? You know, and that, that's what ends up happening. People are, I say the word, I, I get people all the time that are desperate. They think sales training is, there, is the answer. And yes, it is if there is proper, let's say, qualified prospects and so forth and so on. And I'll even add one more thing. People sometimes forget what I call their, their green grass. The green grass concept is people that we know. Mm. So people that we know, whether it's personal relationships that we have with brothers, family members or neighbors or colleagues from previous work. And you know, I'm afraid that now I'm selling a product or service. I don't want to go talk with them. Well, if, if, if anything, I mean, a simple thing I'd say, just go back to your original contact and find a way, a subtle way to let people know what you're doing so that at least they 
would at least want to vouch for, what, for, for you because they know you from, uh, they have a history with you, so at least there is a way for them standing on a relationship. So that's just one simple idea that I've learned back in the direct sales business when I was selling knives. Right. Who, do I sell, who did I practice with? It was my friend's mother's. <laughs> so it was, I was Lebanese living in the US, there are no lots of people, so it was my, friend, my best friend's parents, two or three of them. But then from that I got referrals to more and more individuals and that's how things got started. Fantastic. Ramis, some great tips. Absolutely. And more of them, sincerely, I highly recommend um, all the events that uh, Phil and the Referral Institute do here in this region. Uh, look up the, the next events and just attend and you'll be glad you did. Until next time. Awesome. Yeah. Rebel Networker. Thank you.